Hey guys, what's up? Optic Midnight here, bringing you a gameplay commentary. Today we're playing on Stadium, Search and Destroy, and there's something a little bit special about this gameplay. It's knifing only. That's right, baby. Um, I'm using only the knife, the ballistic knife. Um, the reason I was doing that was because I was playing some Search and Destroy with my friends, and I was trying to get all the pro perks. So, as you can see on this class, I needed Ghost Pro still, I needed Scout Pro, and I needed Hacker Pro. So, for Scout Pro, you have to get, I think one of the challenges for it is you have to get like 50 kills with a secondary weapon, I believe it's 50 kills, and when you knife someone with a ballistic knife, it counts as a secondary kill. So, if you're looking to get Scout Pro, that's a good way to do it. Also, um, I never use the motion sensor ever, but um, for the hacker challenge, you have to get like 30 kills inside of a motion sensor, so that's what I was trying to do. Um, so yeah, don't hate on me for like what I'm using. It's a little bit different, definitely different from some of the gameplays that I've uploaded, but I hope you guys do still enjoy. I think it's pretty entertaining, and it's some knife-only action, which I haven't done before. A little Only Use Me Blade tribute, one of my favorite commentators of all time. So, I'm not sure how knifing only gameplays all of a sudden becomes a tribute to Only Use Me Blade, but whatever. It's cool, it's cool. Um, and I also thought that I would answer some questions in this uh, commentary because I did a question and answer commentary over some gameplay last week and it got really good reviews. You guys seem to like getting to know me better and I like sharing myself with you guys so let's go. Um, first question from Twitter from this guy named, uh, what's your name, Jesse D. Simpson says, have you ever met someone in real life that recognized you? And my answer to that is yes. And shabam! Right in your face, kid. No, I'm just kidding. But um, actually, this has only happened to me once. I'm not. I don't think of myself as some famous person. I just think of myself as someone who has fun making videos for YouTube, and I'm, it's a fun hobby of mine. I never ever would have thought that in real life, my small ass little town that I live in in Minnesota, somebody would know who I was. But um, I was at the gas station buying some Tiger Blood. I mean Gatorade, and uh. You know, just hanging out at the counter, and this lady is ahead of me in line. She's, uh, like, you know, when they, they're, like, buying lottery tickets and, like, scratching them off at the counter. It's, like, the most annoying thing ever. Try to take a drink. But, um, anyway. So this lady is standing in front of me and doing her lottery, lottery tickets, and it looks like her son is hanging out with her. And he looks like he's maybe, like, I, I don't know. I'm really bad at telling how kids, how old kids are, but he looked like he was, like, couldn't be over 12. You know what I'm saying? So... But he's, he's got like these big ass glasses on and he's like looking up at me. I'm like, what the hell is this kid staring at me for? Like, really? Like, I didn't even pop into my head like, oh, he must recognize me from YouTube. I was like, why is this kid staring at me, right? And he's staring at me and I'm like looking at him and I look away and then I look back. He's still looking at me and he says, do you play video games? And I said, yeah. But then his mom was like, let's go. And like made him leave or whatever. And I was like, dude, like. Okay, so he wasn't like, oh my god, I'm just gonna oh my god, I'm gonna tell you videos, stop my autographs. Like, he didn't say that. But, at the same time, who as somebody in a small town in Minnesota, if they play video games at a gas station? Like, who? No one does that. And especially, like, a little kid. Like, come on. So, I'm pretty sure that was my, my first, uh, my first little thing. And this should have been a double kill, but Dashboard Queen with her perfectly cooked grenade fucking just takes him out. Oh well. It's cool. I love you, Dashboard Queen. YouTube.com slash Dashboard Queen. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's my story of how I was recognized one time, but I have a lot of other questions to get to, so let's get it going. Don't shoot I is gay, my good friend Jake, I love him. Uh, he asks, who was your childhood hero? And I kind of had a lot, but pretty much my, this is gonna sound so nerdy and dumb, but when I was playing like PS2 and stuff back in the day and like, you know, they, they have movies that came out about it. The Tomb Raider, like that Tomb Raider girl, Laura Croft, like when that movie came out, I was like, oh my god, I wanna be just like her. Like I was in like fucking maybe sixth grade. I don't even know. I was like a young girl. And I was like, I looked up to her because she's like a strong female figure. And I guess that's why I looked up to her. I don't wanna really call her my hero, but I thought like she was so cool, right? Like pretty much any female that was like badass I fucking I dug I dug it um so yeah um this person named Muse from Twitter says since you're partnered with YouTube people always want to know how much you get paid and wait how, yeah how much you get paid from YouTube um as a part of the contract that I signed I'm technically not allowed to say that and I think that it's kind of a rude 
thing to ask. I'm not saying, like, you're stupid for asking or anything. But, like, you never go up to somebody and you're like, how much do you make at your job? Like, you never do that. That's kind of rude to ask. And it's also kind of rude to flaunt, too. If I'm like, oh, guys, I just got paid from YouTube. This is how much I made. Suck my cock. Like, I think that's kind of rude. And it's something I do like to keep private. And um, just so you guys know, like, YouTube isn't my only source of income. I have a real job in real life. Work full time. So this is for fun for me. Um, the money is just an added bonus for me. So, yeah. Um, I Splashy HD from Twitter asks, "Who is your favorite optic member, or who are you closest to an optic?" Um, asking my favorite optic member is kind of like asking my favorite sibling. Like, if I had to choose, like that's kind of sad. Um, so I, I don't really have a favorite. I mean, there's there's certain people that when their videos come out, I'm like, I need to click on this immediately. Like when Predator releases a video or a commentary, I'm like, yep, I'm gonna go watch this right now. Otherwise, like, he when Hex releases a commentary, I need to see what it's all about right away because I just, I really like their, their videos. Um, but the person that I'm closest to in Optic would probably be, like, the Optic girls, like, Shannon and Moppy and Adriana. Um, but I spend, like, most, like, I talk to Moppy a lot and I spend a lot of time playing with her just because, like, I'm up at weird times and that's, like, normal daytime over in Britannia. So, like... I'm probably, if I had to say, I'm I'm closest with Moppy. So, what up, Sophie? Um, anyway. I don't know how to... Avia Music... Um, I don't know how to say that. From Twitter. Says, do you use FPS Freaks? And, and do you ever get nervous when you're playing Call of Duty? Um, I don't use FPS Freaks. I heard they're really good. But, um, Evil Controllers is Optic's sponsor. And they actually hooked me up with a controller. And it has Evil Sticks on it. And if you guys haven't used Evil Sticks or don't know what they are, um, if I could compare them to anything, it would be a PS3 analog stick. But it's a little bit different than that. Like, it's not even like that. It just, it, I don't know. It feels different and it, it doesn't move very much differently. But it feels, like, so much more comfortable when you're playing it's ridiculous like i'm not gonna lie like i've technically like i've gotten better since i started using them i think a lot of it is a comfort thing for me but they affect all people differently i suppose and um the second question is do you ever get nervous when you're playing call of duty and like as you guys know my one of my favorite uh game types this should have freaking like i should have killed him what the hell when I'm playing Search and Destroy and, you know, like, when you're the last person left and you got to take out, like, three people and, and plant the bomb, you're, like, a little nervous. Like, that's, I mean, I don't really get nervous. I actually like those situations because I like, like, doing very well in those types of situations. The only time I get really nervous is when somebody recognizes me in a lobby and it sounds really stupid. But when somebody's like, oh, Optic Minute, I'm such a big fan, you're a beast. And I'm like, oh, dude, now I have to, like, do well. Like, damn it, why'd you have to recognize me? Like, you know, like, I have, like, I feel pressure to, like, do well. Like, they're like, oh, Optic, you're sick, snipey videos. Like, I feel like I have to, like, no-scope, quiz-scope all the kills, even though that's not even what we're, like, all about. Um, so, yeah, there's, like, always an added pressure whenever I get recognized. And I get recognized pretty much every lobby, which is, uh, sometimes it's kind of... I don't know, it's kind of a, a negative thing, but I see it mostly as a positive thing because it's an opportunity for me to talk to people that enjoy my videos and uh, just get to know, like, people, basically. So, yeah. Um, thanks for that question, that was a good one. Um, and th this guy, OMG so Asian from Twitter, says, if you could bring back one ex-Optic member, who would it be? And I'm trying to think, I'm like looking at the Hall of Fame and stuff, like, oh, who was an Optic back in the day or whatever, and if I had to bring one person back, it'd probably be Toomers, just because he's so funny. Like, I know, I don't, don't really think he's ever been really into commentaries, but I'm pretty sure Toomers is like the funniest person alive on the planet. Seriously, like, oh my gosh. If you guys haven't seen the 300k thank you video that we just put on Nation today, you gotta see it because he's so hilarious and I'll, I'll actually probably put a link in that because we just hit 300k and we all made a big thank you vlog for it and it's pretty sweet so yeah um so i got one more i think i got time for one more question maybe two let's go um della kona i don't know how to say that um says why did you start gaming how did you hear about optic and why are you nice to your fans um i started gaming just because like my dad bought me a console and was like, oh here, do this. And I was like, oh okay. And I just started to have a lot of fun with it. 
Um, and how did I hear about Optic? I actually, some one of my friends linked me a montage from Hex. I watched, the very first Optic video I watched was Optic Hex Modern Warfare 2 montage. It was like right after Modern Warfare 2 came out. And I was like, oh damn, like holy shit, you know? And then, um, why are you nice to your fans? Um, I'm nice to my fans and I reply to comments. I try, I, like, I try to reply to you guys' messages and comments, like, as much as I can. Like, if they're not completely irrelevant, like, box for box things, you know? But I try to, like, respond as much as I can because I wouldn't be making these videos, you know, if I had no one to watch them. Like, I obviously have a lot of fun making these videos, but if I put them up and no one watched them, I wouldn't be having as much fun. So, yeah, I, I like to try and give you guys the same respect that you give me and give, give you guys the time of day. So, anyway, this is going to wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Like, oh my god, I have a Twitter.